In this series of videos I'm attempting to repair this 486 based CNC controller. It's out of a Herco machine, a big uh, CNC mill and it's refusing to boot up and so far in this series I've replaced the real-time clock, investigated what's going on with this and come to the conclusion that the connector down here that you can no longer see is a, um, a PCI slot. Um, somebody left a comment and said uh, is it looks like a, a PC104 connector. It does, and that was my um, first thought when I first saw it, but it's got uh, the wrong number of pins for any of the standards I'm aware of for the 104. And uh, that's actually why I uh, originally had the scope uh, switched on. I was checking the pin out to see if it was any of the PC104 formats, and it didn't seem to adhere to any, so I had to investigate it pin for pin, which is what I did in the previous video. And talking of the previous video, apologies to anyone that tried to watch the first posting. Not quite sure what's going on with YouTube at the moment. I don't normally watch my own videos, so um, I just happened to get uh, wind that there was something wrong with it. Had a look, and it was for some reason showing just green screen for half of the video, so don't know what's going on there. Uh, also, apologies if you've left a comment and I haven't responded. Um, apologies for that. I've realised also I'm not getting notifications from YouTube, so I don't know if any comments have been uh, left. I just assumed that nobody was watching the videos. Uh, so I have looked and I can't find anything wrong with the settings. So if you uh, uh, had the same issue and you, you got it fixed, then please let me know what you found. But uh, everything's enabled, all notifications are enabled, the email um, address that set is correct. I'm just not getting any notifications uh, from YouTube uh, other than the, the sales ones that they send out now and again, but I'm not getting notified when someone leaves a comment, for example, which uh, I always used to. Uh, okay, with that out of the way, um, you can see now I've made a bit of progress here. What I've done is uh, connected a, a PCI type connector, edge connector, through some jumper wires to the connector at the bottom right of the uh, CPU card. And I followed the standard um, PCI, so on the connector, these are the connections I've made, and I've taken those from the connections that I found uh, while uh, buzzing out the board. So I've made these connections one-to-one -one onto here. Now, not all the PCI connections are available on this connector. Some of these signals that you would get on the typical PCI are missing. So I've got a feeling this is a custom um, connector configuration specific for this application. Most likely just so it will run a VGA card. Uh, but what I've done is run the connections I do have through to the edge connector. And as you can see, I've got a, a post um, card plugged into this so this should show us any um, codes that come up on the bus during the self-test. In fact it will show any codes that come up um, all the time the systems are running uh, if any are indeed um, sent uh, through to the correct address on this slot. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll power this up and see if this comes to life. Okay, that's a good sign. I can see in the uh, camera viewfinder that this appears to be flickering. It's not flickering in real life, that's just the usual um, refresh and update for the display. Um, but it is showing us some sensible codes, and uh, that code should in theory change if I press a key on the keyboard, which it does do. And also I should be able to reboot by pressing Control alt delete Okay, that's good. That does tend to confirm that this is indeed um, a PCI slot. Um, one thing I should be able to do, if this system as a whole is running, and bear in mind the architecture that we've already figured out, it should be able to boot to DOS uh, using a floppy uh, drive. So if I take this blank disk out, and I've got a boot disk for uh, PC DOS 6.1. doesn't need to be this version, any version uh, should in theory uh, boot. I'm not going to let it boot all the way, but if um, this system's running, we've got it all connected right, uh, then we should be able to see the system starting to boot from this disk. So we'll give this a go. I'll control alt delete again. And it should try and boot from the A drive. Okay, 
And there it goes, I can hear it clonking away. It's still going, so the fact it's reading more than one sector means it's happy with what it's read so far. It's still going. And I can hear it going through the usual boot process from floppy. I'm going to stop it there because I don't want it to actually boot all the way. I don't want it to start installing DOS or messing with the hard disk. So that's a good sign. It means the system as a whole is actually running. And um, if I had a VGA card for this type of connector, I'd obviously plug it in now and we'd see what's going on. Uh, I've got one ordered and so now I'm going to have to wait until that turns up. It's just a, an old PCI uh, card. Uh, that in theory should give us uh, VGA output. Now this might default to CGA, so the VGA might not work. It depends on um, exactly how this is configured. Uh, so I might have to get a CGA card and go that route, but I'm hoping that it defaults to uh, either CGA or VGA, and it will work when I plug the card in. And if that works, then we are fairly close to getting this uh, running. If it doesn't work, uh, it's back to the drawing board and we'll have to start uh, testing alternative theories. But uh, again, any ideas on this, uh, please leave a comment. Uh, I will uh, check the video every so often on YouTube to see if any comments have been left. And uh, as I said, if you have any ideas as to why notifications aren't working for YouTube, please let me know.